Hello, everyone. Uh, <coughs> good afternoon. Uh, my name is Yiwen Huang, the founder and the CEO of R2.AI, <coughs> the AI that helps create AI. So what, what, you know, what, what, what we do exactly is we look for investors. <laughs> okay. We all do here. Yeah, so actually looking for investors who can help us quickly build technology that can help accelerate AI adoption across all the industries. So more specifically, we are building a new generation AI development and operation platform that is powered by AI itself. So it does a lot of the work the human AI experts are doing. So it's for non-AI experts. So enable non-AI experts to be able to build very good quality AI solutions on their own. Also, it can help you to build AI solutions whether you have big data or you don't have big data. Uh, furthermore, it can help you to build AI solutions or product that has some level of human-like creativity. So that's our technology. So we have a uh, component that does machine learning on big data automatically for the non-AI experts. So for the ones who don't have big data, we have a component that's based on cognitive AI technology that can quickly turn your human expertise into AI solution. And we have a third component that is the R2 Explorer that allows you to create AI that has some level of human creativity. So some people may, uh, may, may be wondering, you know, how does our technology compare with the human experts? So with all the use cases that we have encountered so far, we're lucky enough that we are be able to um, outperform most of the human experts at this point. Um, we still have a journey to go, for sure. Right? The product will be getting better and better uh, going forward. But on the speed side, we are kicking the ass of the human experts in terms of building very good quality machine learning models. Minutes, hours versus weeks and months. We have a customer who is building a very interesting AI application based on our technology. It's an AI graphic designer that mimics human designer and that's able to create graphic designs on its own, okay, based on set of uh, requirements. And for those of you who are interested in, in blockchain uh, technology, we also have a project going on. So we are considering Series A at this point. If you like what we do, here's my contact information. Thank you. Uh, question, um, what is your first expected uh, market like application? Because you showed a variety of applications, but are you targeting a particular market to well, launch a product? In terms of the go-to market, so we're actually going after the healthcare, insurance, and the financial market. Okay, but in terms, because we have two sets of customers. One are what we call the traditional customers, you know, who has lots of data, you know, we are already doing this kind of stuff. And we have the second set of customers who are actually non-IT customers who are actually, you know, in the traditional uh, industries, but has lots of data, has a lot of ex expertise, and wants to build AI technology as a growth point. So who is a, can you give us a, a typical customer or an existing customer? And what is the new outcome that you're making possible for that customer? Okay, so we have a hedge fund uh, customer who, who has a uh, trading algorithm that really predicts the outcome of the portfolio. Okay, so he actually used the same data set and used our platform to build a new algorithm based on the same data set. And we're able to double the performance of 
what, 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 he, what he already has. How do you justify raising Series A? Usually, you know, uh, Series A VC will expecting some business model showing some, you know, steady growth on uh, revenue. Uh, what's your plan on revenue? Okay, so on, in terms of the revenue, uh, basically, I guess, uh, uh, for the traditional type of customers, we're going after channels, especially for the China market. So we have a, a few candidates we're working with at this point, so they can sell the products on behalf of us. So that's, that's the way we can really you know, scale the business. And on the other side, the green customers, we actually have a list, very long list of potential customers who wants to work with us. But we want to be very selective in terms of who, who we work with. And the third thing is the blockchain project that you just saw. There's another way that we want to actually scale the business very quickly. Have you signed any a letter of intent or MOU? Uh, in terms of uh, investment? Uh, revenues. Oh, revenue. We already got revenues coming in. We, have, we already have uh, a few customers. Yeah. 